Hello everyone, it's Ed with Dual Brain MTG, and today I just had to have a discussion about this craziness that's happening. March of the Machines Aftermath, already open. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. I can't believe it's already open. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Okay, so... March of the Machines Aftermath already opened. What does everybody think? I'll tell you what I think. I think it's way, way too early. And I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know why Wizards keeps on doing this. It's kind of like, wow, look how skinny that box was. Check it out. Look at that. Skinny. I mean, there's only six pack uh, cards per pack. But I don't know why Wizards keeps on doing this with the stepping on one set before it's really out like by releasing the next set but look march of the machines the original set uh the freaking pre-release last week so to have the following set being open already on youtube is kind of crazy you know all right let's see what we got here so i mean look i like these these ones where they made the borders for this like this is pretty cool and then there's etched. There's a lot of etched. I'm not going to pause it on the cards. You can check it out yourself. But have they even released the full set? No, they haven't. So here you go. Freaking, uh, I don't know, card previews before they're released. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, six cards per pack. Look at that. All right. So this is old school MTG. If you want to watch the original video, definitely go check them out. Look at that halo. That looks really nice. It's an uncommon, but it looks really nice. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, like, I, I have... My complaints about what's happening is more about the grand scheme of things rather than specifically about this set. Like, using old borders and stuff whatever but not sticking to the original intent or idea behind it like the inventions here you go sarcan look at look, that looks great new borders original that's like new stuff for this set all right next pack there you go you have the mystical archives so that's pretty cool it looks good don't get me wrong the looks on a lot of this looks really good Nashi is alive too, still. Mm -hmm. Niv Mizzet, look at that. And see, look at the card behind. I'm looking at it already. It's a gilded frame from Capenna, but it's not gilded. And that's part of the problem with the whole thing, you know? Like, why would you use the border but change it? I don't know. Hey, look, it protects the originals, right? So, I mean, that's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, this is crazy how early this is. I can't believe it. There you go. If you want to read it, yeah, definitely pause. If you want to check out the full video, check out uh, Old School MTG. I, I don't know how he got it this early. That's crazy. I am not blaming him. Look, if I got it this early, I'd have it up. It's not... The creator's fault for putting this up it's wizard's fault for getting it out there this early you know if you didn't want this type of leak maybe you shouldn't have uh shipped the stuff out like this yeah it looks like you get an uncommon first no matter what even if the second card is a rare you're always getting that first uncommon or common i mean are you excited for this set? It's a very small set. Here you go. Invocation and in foil. Mm. It looks okay. I'd like to see it in hand to compare it to the original. It it wasn't great when those first... Uh, hey, look, the, the first attempt at remaking the border, they didn't do a great job. Maybe they'll do good in the future. I don't know. I would have liked it if it was actually rare, the invocations and inventions like they were originally. That uh, halo looks great. Okay, you can stop looking at the halo now, bro. Yeah. Look at the etched looks good. The etched looks good. 
I really like where they've gone with the etch that, um, you know, the border. It's just the flat color of the card and stuff like that. It looks really good. Uh, retro frames. Retro frame foil. Okay. That's a really good card, by the way. Go look at it. Five mana. Enchant creature that makes five mana of any color to cast spells. That's crazy, right? There's like halos in every pack now. So it's like, okay, the halo foils were rare in Aftermath. Now they're freaking common. Every time they do this, they take something cool and then they overdo it. That's the Zendikar frame instead of Expedition frame, which was weird. Pia. All right. I mean, this is a small set. We're going to see tons of uh, duplication. When you open a box, you're going to get the same card a few times. What is it? 50, 60 cards? Some, some ridiculous? Hmm. I, look, I like the look and of most of the cards. I don't like the inventions or the invocations. Or the gilded frames. That they, they missed the they missed the target on those, let's just say. The Suvin Drifter. Okay, we're not gonna read it. Yeah, this is crazy. Again with this campus reunion. That so that's twice with the same card. There's gonna be a lot of duplication. Let me know what you think below. If you're liking this set or not, or if you think the early preview is good or bad. I really don't think it's good for the game. Okay. I, you know, I don't know what to say about this earliness except for the fact that it's like Wizards doesn't want every set to reach its full sales potential by doing this. It's kind of crazy because the trampling on the previous set so that FOMO dies instantly, it's kind of, it's really not a good move. I don't know. It's so strange. Gilded, not gilded with, with Halo. Uh, it's so weird. Training grounds. Let's see, so many. Wow, so many doubles. This is kind of crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be uh, buying any of this. I may open one just for the channel, but it, I don't think I can buy this because really the same cards again and again and again it's like wow so what's the chase here what are we looking for i don't even know because these cards haven't been previewed so we don't even know which cards are supposed to be good yet wow so that's it okay i I don't know, guys. I don't know what to make of this except that it's really crazy to have it out this early. Um, yeah, again, old school MTG. I don't blame him for opening it. I blame Wizards or the distributors for getting it out there too early. The problem with this is it's not that you know we're getting this information. It's that we're getting it so early. It's It doesn't give any set time to ripen and to really be enjoyed and remembered think about it if the pre-release was last weekend tomorrow is the actual release of march in the machine and we have another set being not just not previewed but being um spoiled i guess uh, you know it's kind of crazy man it, it's it's not a good direction it reminds me of last year more than anything like uh, when we just got inundated over and over again with new product just kept on hitting us and 
yeah, I don't see it as a good thing for the longevity of the game. Um, it kind of worries me. I mean, as much as any of this worries me, you know? So it's like, I know the game is going to last, but what are the short-term and long-term effects of these type of early openings? Are there any? Or is it all going to be reflected in Wizards sales numbers and we'll never know? I don't know. I, I I don't know. I didn't I didn't find anything in that opening that was like, wow, wow, I got to go open, it, open this. I like the pack art, but where's the showcase that emulates that pack art, like the style, you know? I wish they had a showcase that was like that 80s funk type David Bowie, you know, art, uh, Andy Warhol type art or something like, I don't know. It was, it looked like a cool opportunity. I thought they were going to do it with the pack art. And now it's just, just the same cards over and over again. The set is so small that we're seeing the same cards over and over again. And yeah, it's kind of crazy guys. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, let me know what you think of seeing it this early. Did you like the set? Did you like the cards? Did you like that you saw it early? Don't, do you not like that you saw it early? Are you worried like me? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you're going to buy any today. Remember to use my TCG Player affiliate link in the description. Check out my Patreon, channel memberships, and we got pins coming. All right. Peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?